Since 2012, the Cambridgeshire County Council has seen a £66.8 million yearly reduction in the funding that they receive. But what is the impact of this ever-dwindling budget on the services that we enjoy as a community? This show will focus the lens on the children's centres of Cambridge, such as the Romsey Mill, and see what the future holds for them. We manage two local children's centres, one based here at Romsey Mill Centre and the other in Cherry Hinton, which is another part of Cambridge City. We also provide our preschool care and education and then we also run and provide a support programme for teenage parents, for younger parents. Romsey Mill's work is about helping uh, to remove the barriers that prevent young people and families with young children from progressing well. We've had to, to deal with some pretty big challenges over these last few years with cuts to funding, but we're, we're glad that we've been able to grow the support that we provide. In an attempt to save £1 million, the Cambridgeshire County Council have put forward a series of proposals that would reform the services distributed by children's centres across the region. Currently in Cambridgeshire, there are 40 in operation. They offer support and advice on a multitude of topics to children under five and their families through drop-in sessions, one-on-one -on -one meetings and organised playgroups. They're an important support system for families from deprived backgrounds and those with special needs. Within the city, there are currently seven children's centres. Fawcett, Homerton, Cherry Hinton, The Fields, Chesterton, North Cambridge and Romsey Mill. With these new proposals, four of these centres will essentially close down due to the cuts, along with many more around the country. Given that Cambridge is forecast to see a 10% increase in the number of 0-4 to year olds by 2020, are the proposals sufficient to cover the need? Conservative councillor Simon Bywater, chair of the Children and Young People Committee, put the proposals forward originally. I, obviously I was a lead member on this and I proposed it to full council. I think it's a very good idea. I think it, you know, we're under significant financial pressures. Um, this is just one of um, a small number of things that we're trying to do to, to address some of the demands that we've got in Cambridgeshire. I think it's very crucial that we reach out to some of our most needy. A redesign of children's centres and the provision around Cambridgeshire involves having a much more of an outreach um, process in place to target those children that we need, need to help. And with a flexible service we can then direct that service to where the need changes over the years to come. We had a public consultation, we listened to the members of the public who in interacted with that consultation. I think it was over 2,000 responses, which is really high. So rather than make the decision in the Children and Young People's Committee, I was very keen to engage the whole of the council. I think that the way the consultation was written was incredibly misleading for people. There's an awful lot in there about how they're wanting to um, focus services on those most in need. And, and almost everybody would say, yes, of course, we should be supporting those most in need. What was never mentioned in the um, proposals was that that would mean reducing services for a very large number of families who don't hit the very high thresholds of most in need. We feel that there could have been f um, fuller discussion and dialogue uh, than there was prior to the launch of the consultation paper. It's lacking in, in the sort of information that's needed to ensure that the future service is really what it needs to be to best meet the needs of families. So the Liberal Democrats um, started a petition to save the centres. We've been delighted with the response to that petition. We've got um, very nearly 4,000 signatures. So that's um, almost double the um, number of responses that the County Council have got had to their consultation. So it's not a Romsey Mill campaign. Lots of people, lots of children's centres, lots of families have engaged in order to ensure that there's proper discussion. The cuts have been brought in because of budget pressures, because the council is having to make, um, well, or is choosing to make, um, enormous cuts to its services. It's absolutely a political decision, and that's a decision they didn't have to make. Um, Cambridgeshire County Council has the option of raising council tax. 50p extra a week would raise £10 million. They would not need to be making these savings if they just made that decision. The challenge that we face now with the, the threat to the funding for children's centres is that there'll be a reduction in the number of places, but also there'll be a reduction in the, the outreach for those families. 45% of our funding would come through uh, the local authority as they pay us to deliver those services for families and particularly through the children's centres. 
So it's well over £300,000 that potentially will be cut from our budget. They're very clear in the proposals that they're focusing their efforts just on those families who are most at risk. Um, and the, the danger with that is that you miss a large number of families who, who are just about managing and who might carry on just about managing given some support. But if you remove that support, they will fall into that at risk category and that can be really have devastating consequences. Um, I think a million pounds invested in early intervention and in the specific targeted support that children's centres provide is a very good investment, a, a relatively small investment given the outcomes that are made. Sadly, I suspect that the Conservatives will push through these um, cuts and I hope I am proved wrong, but uh, we will keep fighting. Taking place behind me, the full council is meeting to decide the fate of Cambridge's children's centres. But has the decision already been made? Well, in an ideal world, the result of this meeting would be that they decide not to close any children's centres at all. Because yeah. there won't be the support there anymore, and then I've got to go try and find the support somewhere else. We'll, we'll, we'll end up being like isolated. They say that every child matters, but I don't think they believe that at all. We're a rich society. We can afford to provide decent children's services. It's a difficult budget situation. Um, at the same time, trying to pretend that this is a good move for children's services provisions, I think, is slightly perverse. Despite all the fighting, the council decided to go ahead with the proposals by 31 votes to 22. So what does the future hold now for organisations such as the Romsey Mill? We still fund £7.2 million in our early years provision and we're still going to be over £4 million in our children's centre provision. But this is about having uh, children's centres that are in high areas of need, but then also having children and family zones, and then an outreach facility, and also a, an online facility where people can engage with the service online as well. And we've tried to move away from being uh, a fixed building approach where we can have a much more flexible approach to the way we deliver those services. Um, if we've got 27 buildings that we're still going to use around the county. And I think in Cambridge nobody's going to be more than two miles away from, from a children's zone. Well originally we, we were proposing to reduce the funding by a million pound um, but as part of the consultation process you know, we had to listen to some of the feedback and so we decided that you know, there was a slight gap in our provision so we, we basically decided to reinvest £100,000 back into frontline services so that we can deliver those services better. People don't like change um, but I think sometimes change is good and I think these proposals are, are, are a good step forward for us and it's not about cuts, this is about people are going to get the same frontline service that, that, that we've had and perhaps an even better frontline service. In the full council meeting there were certain councillors that were under the impression that frontline services would be bigger, would be expanding, there would be more frontline service than there has been. I actually don't think that's the case. If you look at the response to consultation document, the commitment of the County Council is to maintain the current level of frontline services, but certainly there's not going to be an increase um, across the county. We were hoping that councillors would listen to the response of families, members of the public, the huge response to the consultation, and also 
uh, the petition that went forward, 2,300 signatories to that petition to say, we need more time to think about these proposals. They're just not right. So we were disappointed that at the end of the meeting, uh, councillors didn't really listen, we don't think, to many of the concerns that were raised. So at the moment, we know that the 31st of March is an absolute cutoff. That's when our current contract comes to an end. So that place that's always open, that families can always come into, will stop. And so many of our other programmes and activities will continue here from Romsey Mill Centre. But for the Children's Centre staff, their employment will transfer from Romsey Mill to the local authority at the beginning of 2018. So uh, there, there's going to be a mix of risk of redundancy and some staff being offered a role within the local authority's employment. I think initially it's going to be difficult for families um, as they won't know where services are happening from. So we will do our best as a you know, local organisation, local charity, to signpost and direct families to those places where the services are going to be happening from. We're a positive, optimistic organisation. Uh, we're very hopeful and we will keep working very hard to support children, young people and families to the best of our ability and respond to needs because there'll certainly be gaps as funding is reduced and services contract. So we'll continue to be creative and active. The building will still be busy. We'll still be doing the work that we do and we'll be looking for new ways to support those families that we'll no longer be supporting through the Children's Centre contract, but we will find other ways to reassure them and support them and help them um, whilst this change is, is being worked out. The definition of better services does depend on who you speak to on the political spectrum, but at the end of the day, £900,000 is being cut from the child services budget. Only time will tell if these proposals are enough to cover the growing demand.